Welcome back slide rollers. I have a special treat tonight. Um, one problem is that I usually work uh, on these during the day so you may not be able to see very well uh, with the lamps on. Um, but here is a Russian KL1 circular slide roll. Uh, the reason I've air quoted slide roll is because uh, it's not really a slide roll. Um, what is a slide roll? Well it's two logarithmic scales next to each other that you can slide uh, to measure distance, logarithmic distances um, directly. A circular slide roll is uh, where you take this and you bend it around connecting the indices until you get a circle and you can rotate the C, the one logarithmic scale, inside the other one. Um, the nice thing about the circular slide roll is that uh, you can never go off scale uh, because the indices um, are connected to each other on the ends. That's great no off scale. I don't have a real circular slide roll to show you. Uh, but a precursor of the slide roll is a logarithmic scale with a set of calipers um, where you say you want to multiply something by 2, you set the calipers to measure the distance from 1 to 2, of course that's log of 2, then you set the left end of the caliper against uh, say 3, then measuring out that distance is going to take you to 6 uh, because You've done the same thing you do with a slide roll, except you don't have the two logarithmic scales. You have the calipers measuring essentially what I'll call the operands, right? So here, I've set times 2 by measuring this distance, then I've done times 2 by uh, aligning the left end with the 3 and going out that extra log 2 distance. Of course, if I do it in reverse by aligning the right end of the calipers with the 6, then going back that distance does division, right? So I've really just set the, the 2, and I can either multiply or divide by 2 after I've set the 2. Okay, so here is the KL1 circular slide roll, which is not really a slide roll. Um, what it has is essentially a set of calipers. See here, there is an indicator line right underneath this knob. I'm going to call that the fixed indicator. And then there is another uh, moving needle, and you see those two act as a set of calipers which you can essentially move with respect to the logarithmic scale which is circular of course you really move the scale instead of the calipers uh, by turning that knob. Uh, the other side has some trigonometry um, and essentially a uh, CI or inverse scale uh, but maybe I'll work, do those in another video we'll just focus on this side. Um, okay so where is the main scale? The main scale is the inner scale here uh, you can see here by the indicator is the 1 it goes 1, 2, 3, and it's essentially just a regular uh, C or D scale, but put into a circle. On the outside is the um, square scale, so an A scale or a B scale, depending. Uh, so you see if I set this uh, needle to 2 on the inner scale, it reads 4. On the outer scale, 3, then it reads 9. So it's essentially just direct reading squares or square roots. Uh, see if I set to 36 here on the outer scale, then inner scale reads 6, the square root. Okay, uh, but that's not the most interesting thing to do with it. Of course, uh, let's see how we would do regular multiplication or division. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, if I think of analogy to my original idea here, I'm going to use a fixed indicator as the left end of the caliper and the needle as the right end of the caliper. So if what I want to do here is multiply by 3, I'll first align the left end of the caliper with the index. Think of this picture. Okay, want to align the left end of the caliper with the index and the right end of the caliper, which here is the needle, with the operand number. Okay, so the operand I want here is 3, so I'm using the inner scale. Okay, so from here to here my calipers are measuring that log of 3 distance. Okay, so to multiply by 1.5 then, I simply move the caliper until the left end of the caliper is on 1.5 and then of course it reads result on the other end of the caliper 4.5. Um, if I want to do another multiplication by 3 all I need to do is move the caliper uh, so let's move the left end of the caliper here uh, to 2 then I get 6 Okay. Um, if I move it to say 7 then I should get 21. And of course I do, but here's the nice thing, as I went around through the caliper, see I went past the index, right? But the scale wraps around on itself, so I can read, um, I can read on the next order of magnitude uh, without going off scale or doing anything special uh, because this, the scales are connected at the ends. 
Um, okay, I could divide by three by doing this in reverse. So I still haven't changed the calipers from their three setting. But let's, see, I want, let's say I want to do 18 divided by three. Then I could find the 18 where the needle is. Okay. Then reading back to where the indicator is, I see six. Okay. So division is just reading the caliper backwards from the right end of the caliper to the left end. Um, let's, let's do one from scratch here. So say I want to divide by 4.5. We know the result there should be 2. So the first thing I would do is set the caliper. So I set, uh, I set the indicator to the index here. Then I set the caliper by moving the needle. That's the right end of the caliper. Uh, then... I want to go to 9, but I want to align 9 with the right end of the caliper, uh, which is the needle. Okay. Then I'm measuring that back to the left end of the caliper, which is a fixed indicator, which is now reading 2. Okay. Now, just as a summary here for multiplication and division, I'll set the fixed indicator to 1. That's the left end of the caliper. Then I set the operand number with the needle. Okay. Uh, then to multiply, I move the indicator, I move from <laughs> indicator to needle, right? So I put the, the number I want to multiply at the indicator, then I read the result at the needle. To divide, I put the number I want to divide, not divide by, but to divide um, at the needle, and then I read the result at the indicator. Okay, uh, let's see. We already talked about reading squares and square roots directly. Let's do a little bit more complicated of an operation. So let's say I want to uh, do 3 times 2.5 squared. Well, on a regular slide rule, you could do this um, using the A, A, B, and the C, D with respect to each other, and the fact that the, um, the C and the D scale are twice as long as the A and B scale and represent the squares. Okay, so here I'm going to set operand 2.5 squared uh, in the following way. First, I will align the indicator here, okay, which aligns both the, the regular scale and the square scale. Okay, and then to get 2.5 squared, I'll find 2.5 on the regular scale. Then, of course, its square is reading on the square scale, the outer scale. So I'm going to do the actual operation on the outer scale by moving the indicator, the fixed indicator, to 3 on the outer scale. And then I read result 18.75 on the outer scale. Right? Okay, very similar to how you would do it on a regular linear slide rule. Of course, instead of 3, if you use the, the pi indicator there on the outer scale, you can compute the area of a circle. Okay, so let's talk about how to compute proportions. Uh, the real trick is that you want to set the the caliper's left end first. In other words, you want to set uh, something here against the fixed indicator first. Okay, so let's solve this proportion. Um, so here's here's what I'll do. I'll first uh, set the fixed indicator to six. You want to set that fixed indicator first, basically all the time. Um, then move the needle to 3.5, okay? So between here and here is like um, the difference between 3.5 and 6. Okay, so now what I need to do is move the fixed indicator to the 18. Okay, so fixed indicator is on 18, and result of the proportion, 10.5 is reading on the needle. Okay. Now the nice thing is, you want to solve another proportion involving those two things, you just rotate it again, right? If you want to set uh, the numerator, you set it at the needle. You want to set the denominator, you set it at the indicator. Of course, you do this by rotating the face, which is moving the caliper, and not by uh, changing the needle, which is essentially sizing the caliper. Okay. Now, uh, let's just solve another proportion. So let's set 3.6 here. And there's 3.5, 3.6. Remember to set the indi fixed indicator first. Uh, then set 9. Okay. Remember we're using the inner scale. Okay. Then I will find 79 with the fixed indicator. Okay. 
and result there about 198 is reading at the needle. Okay? So to solve for portions, remember you just have uh, numerator needle, denominator fixed indicator, set fixed indicator first, then set either of these on their respective um, place, and then you read the result on the other, uh, which makes solving for portions very easy. Okay, this has been the Russian KL1 circular slide rule. Uh, maybe later I'll make another video explaining how to use the trigonometric scales on the back.